Madison County behind the pink box. So that's the area that works. And last year when this happened, I had my mom with me, who was 91 at the time. And our levels were so high with the coal line coal farm. They told us we could not wash our clothes in it, we could not take a shower in it, we could not wet the counter with it. And the list went on. I had to move myself and my husband and my mom out of the house for two weeks, had refinance our house to get a filtration system where I could have my mother come back into the house with us. Because at that age, it would take nothing to, for that to happen. Anybody within a weakened immune system. And I mean, it cost us. Ours ended up being tremendous. It goes through like six filterings, and the last thing it goes through is a UV light, and ours was $6,500 and some dollars. And um, now that just accounts, that's only for the initial system. Every year you replace the UV light. They have to come out. They do that, and I would want them to, because I'd want to make sure it's right. The UV light will help kill that E. coli, unless that E. coli is hidden behind a solid, then it can't get it. Like if it's in waste. It can't go through the waste to get it, but if it is microscopic, and it's in the water, the UV light will kill that. Now, Every year, when we have to turn on the one tank, the Tanner tank, like now with this spill, we, we, as soon as we heard about it, we turned it on. That, the, the upkeep for the salt that we have to use when the Tanner tank runs is probably close to $40 a month, at least, just for the salt. Now, the tanks, when they have to start getting replaced, average $1,500 a piece. Now, here we had only a few years left on our house to pay. We're kind of back almost at, at day one again, in a sense. It was not even place, but um, well, I, I talked to the bank and said, we either have to be able to refinance and take care of this problem, how can I in good heart sell this to somebody and only do it when I know it ain't rain because there hasn't been no spill. And tell them there's a possibility. Oh, no, your wall's great. We never had a problem. Because I know flowers and I understand confidentiality. They will not tell us, even now that we own our property, they won't tell us past testing results. They said, yes, it's been tested, but we cannot tell you the results. So I, I took my animals. Myself and my husband have been drinking bottled water since we moved here. And then we got this system, and I remember being so excited last year. I don't drink cooler, but I made a day of cooler out of my pitcher from my faucet. <laughs> and because we couldn't drink the water, we were afraid to. And, and it was positive for the coli farm and the E. coli, but he said it would. And we had to disinfect the whole house. And once they put that system in, we had to come back to the house and run every faucet for hours a day to get the pipes cleaned out. Have to replace your um, ice cube maker, anything that goes into your dishwasher. Anything that your water has touched is contaminated. And if it's not, it's, it's just a mess. And when you lose confidence in your well, you, you, can't, you can't turn your faucet on. You can't live without water. May I ask you a question? Is, yes. is, your, is, that, is that unusual? I mean, you've had a lot. That's a terrible situation. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I, I but is that, I mean, has that been repeated over oh, and yes. another kind? I mean, <coughs> Oh, I don't know. It's happened to us every time Bell does to get the spill or it rains. No, no, but I mean, <laughs> Mr. Chair, that's the oh. neighbors. Oh, neighbors? Our neighbors, I can tell you, right now, one, we paid for their testing because it's family. And this last time, they didn't even want us to test. They won't, and it comes down to, 
and it's not, I, I don't mean this word in, in, in a harmful way, but it, it's, it's, it's an ignorance to what could be. They don't understand the health implications. And I've been sick, but not, I don't believe mine is really from water, but I do shower in the water, you know, I'm very deep. But um, it's, it's awful. There's, I did talk to somebody, and I, I regret now not getting a name. They rent a place <coughs> out behind the peanut farm on Donaldson or something. I'm not on Donaldson. I'm on uh, um, off of Camelot on Candleston. And um, they said that their neighbors actually left because the owner of the property wouldn't even check the wall, wouldn't do anything to help it. And that they never used their water, they just used it to wash clothes because you can't drink it. <coughs> they, they have lost all confidence in it. And it, it, I came down here for my family. And, you know, that. If I hadn't been a person that had, wants to know what's kind of going on around me, my mama would have gotten that water. Now, lovely, she's still with us. She's 92 now. But she doesn't live with me. <coughs> you know, I, I, she's with somebody that I know is a is. She's at my brother's. He doesn't have that. Time. So, I mean, it's just, it's a real health issue. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and what about, you know, reimbursement? We were fortunate we had enough equity in our home to get that. These people are spending tons of money on water. They're spending tons of money on doctor's visits and bills and gas. And they can't afford, like she said, um, the first lady that spoke. Shoot, it's, it's a lot of this area. In Madison and Hamilton County, if you get a job in a car, you're doing well. <laughs> Let alone, you know what I mean, though. You know, you, if, if some people can't get a job because they don't got the car, can't get the car, they don't got the job, which is a vicious cycle. But anyway, um, it's just something that I agree with this lady right here. Don't waste your time on anybody else statewide because obviously they ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna poop or get off the pot. You just need to go to the, the federal level because nobody's doing anything. I could see if it was one time or two times, but my God, the stress level it puts on people that understand what it is is tremendous. Thank you. Um, Billis? 